All right, guys, I've got the Jeep here today, and I'm pretty much gonna be showing you guys how to get rid of all that dirt. It's just caked everywhere, obviously. You can tell, oh my gosh, yeah, didn't see that before. It's everywhere. Um, obviously, you can see that the last owner actually used the Jeep um, and actually took it off-roading, so. Today I'm pretty much just going to be showing you guys how to make all of this look pretty again. I don't intend on using it for that um, anytime soon. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff that I'd like to do to it. But at the same time, opening this up and going and working in here and seeing how dirty it is, that does bother me. So, right. yeah, so I'm going to be using Purple Power. It's a cleaner, degreaser, pretty much what it says right there. Okay. And then I'm going to be using Tire Wet uh, Gel. You can use the spray, but from personal experience, I've seen that the gel seems to last longer because it's thicker. Take a look right in here. It's actually a lot thicker than the actual spray that comes in the bottle. And lastly, I'm going to be using this microfiber towel. You can pretty much use anything, but I just like to use this because they're cheap and I have a thousand of them. Before I start, I have to say it. Um, this stuff is extremely corrosive, okay? So you don't want to leave it on anything for too long. You're going to be seeing me spray it and then wash it down, spray it, wash it down. Um, and when I am washing it down, I'm making sure that I'm getting all of it off, okay? I'm not gonna be dainty with the water that I'm putting on the motor at all, so. Um, another thing, you should probably wait for the motor to cool down. I just drove here. I'm using the power wash at the, um, the car wash. I don't have one, so I'm here at the car wash using the power washer here, but um, it's nice to have the motor cool down and not immediately, actually I don't even know what the word would be, turning this into steam. You do not want to breathe those vapors. <clears throat> Back through and spray down anything that I might need, that I think might need a little tiny bit extra. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and power wash it all that. All right, so that already is just a thousand times better. Yeah. yeah, don't worry about the steam, it's just the headers, but. Now on the hood, there was some dirt that wasn't just spraying off, so I'm actually gonna have to go ahead and rub that off. But it is just dirt, you see right there, my nail starts to peel it away. Yeah, it's nasty, it's really thick. Yeah, I just went and sprayed down the hood again because uh, the pressure washer definitely wasn't taking it out. But it seems to be like oil and dirt because it doesn't just fall off either. I really got to scrub that. Bit. Probably have a scrub brush, but I don't have one on me. It comes off, it's like this black and brown. It's not nearly as light as it is when it's actually on the hood. Yeah, it's definitely oil too. Okay. That's okay. Is it not, now it's purple? I, I don't know. Now, just for extra measure, because I'm, I'm guessing there's supposed to be some type of piping here that maybe goes down. <clears throat> I've never seen where it just ends at the box and that's it. Well, mine ends right here, so the inlet's right here. I'm just gonna go ahead Open this up. Make sure you get 
sure I didn't get any water in there. There's it. That's great. All right, well that's out of there. That's yeah, some drops. Nothing serious though. plastic or rubber. Cover it. There you have it. So much better than before. That could definitely use a little time bit of cleaning up, but yeah, the entire shine just, it brings back all of the black from all those, you know, plastic and rubber pieces, that's all. Looks a lot better. Before, this sticker, I think the sticker was all the way black. And that too. Excellent. That sticker too. But now, it looks nice. I'm actually kind of proud of myself with that one. And there we have it. Just looks so much better. And with the black magic, it really brings back like all of this was kind of like a grayish color. Everything that was black in here was either one, brown, because it was covered in dirt and grime, or two, kind of just gray. So with that, it actually brings back the original blackness that all the plastic and rubber pieces had. Got most of the dirt out of there and stuff. Yeah, cosmetically, it looks a thousand times better than it did before. Right. Yeah, there's just some things like right here for the spark plugs. Like I'm not gonna go ahead and wiggle those around and everything. Um, one, I'm not home. Uh, two, I don't want to get stranded here. And three, I don't want the car to die. Pretty much all of those are just one thing. I don't want to get stuck here, <laughs> just in case. So anything like that, I would have just left alone and not wiggled around a thousand times. Well, yeah, that is how you do it. Took me maybe 20 minutes in total just doing this. Like it did take me a little longer because I did the whole entire thing, but that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, one more thing. Just to show you guys, I'm all done. Back in the Jeep, shutted it up and everything is perfectly fine. I've done this a few times. Never, not one time had anything wrong ever happen and I do this all the time do it for my friends cars family's cars anything like that so unless you're being rough under there or let's see what I'm looking for yeah just keep in mind that it is a car <laughs> and some electrical things are not welcoming to water and that's exactly what you're doing not only are you pouring water on but it's pressurized Okay, so it's coming out a lot faster um, and it has the potential to harm things. You don't want that, that's where things go wrong. 